here and uh, so I'm going to the hardware store to get some supplies so I can start scraping out the inside of the RV so I can paint it. So I felt like doing that today. Um, so I'm going to this hardware store in the neighborhood. Just gonna get a few simple supplies like a scraper, maybe a little hammer, stuff like that. So here we are, it's uh, Paul's Windows and Hardware. How much are these? Oh. I'll see. Yeah. That's four forty nine. Four forty nine? Okay. So maybe this one. There's small spaces. Okay, alright, so this. And then what else here? all the hammers you got just just the absolute cheapest i don't even know if i need it just some situations where i might have to I just like some rotten wood up here in the, in the ceiling Catch a bus over to where the RV is. That shop was pretty cool, actually. That guy was really helpful. He gave me some discounts. over there that's some kind of like truck truck place where they sell trucks I should go over there and check it out because you know you can turn a truck into a tiny house right is I want to do this thing called the barn I've mentioned it several times and what it is is like a giant place where people can bring their RVs and work on them and so this auto body shop is kind of what I envision like it's gonna have like an outside area it's gonna have like an inside area with tools and stuff so something about like this is what I'm thinking this will be my model when I'm looking for Plenty of space to work on your RV and your tiny house. How are things going? Let's see. Well, the place I'm at, I'm staying with some relatives right now, and I'm gonna have to move out around in about five days. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. The RV's not quite ready. So, I'm not sure what to do. Um, just do some temp stays or I don't know I'm, I'm at least trying to get it to where we could sleep in it that's my main goal so worst case scenario we could sleep in it as long as it drives you know so that's that's what I'm trying to do I'm here in the RV and I'm gonna start scraping stuff 
So, in college, I used to have a little house painting business, and they're all about painting houses inside and out. And the, the key thing to painting that you need to understand is the preparation is everything. So, it's how you prep the surfaces and the room. You know, you, you basically start by like, you know, just making it a smooth surface. So you want to get rid of any wallpaper, bumps, screws, tape, staples, you pull all that out and then you sand it down, right? And then you uh, putty all the holes. So it's just a smooth surface. That's the main goal of the prep stage. And then, you know, if there's, like if you don't want paint to get on something, then what you do is, you know, you put tape on, you know, you tape down a tarp or you tape around the windows, the stuff you don't want to get to, you know, paint on, right? That's kind of the secondary thing, right? Or you can do it first if you don't want all the dust from your first prep to get on like a nice floor or something. But in this particular case, we don't have to worry about that because it's all trashy anyway. So, um, so yeah, and you know, the main tool for prep is, scraper like this and there's different size scrapers and basically you know you just start scraping like that you know so eventually this wallpaper will come off like that I mean I don't necessarily have to get this off if it's smooth I could just paint over it but you don't want any bubbles or other stuff you know especially if it's textured but it seems to be fine you know I think I'll just paint right over it actually why well, make work for myself when I don't have to but yeah like that that needs to be puttied up or filled in so it's smooth all these t fixtures need to be removed stuff like that but I'm not gonna do all that today I'm just gonna scrape <laughs> scrape 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 Stuff that needs to be scraped. Um, see, like this is a good example. See how this is rough here. So basically, you just take the scraper. Right. It's a smooth surface. Well, it's not quite smooth, but that gets into sanding. gets into something else, which is uh, a mask. So since this is an old RV, a thing that you need to be aware of is, you know, back in the 70s and 60s and 50s and whatever, you know, they used all kinds of toxic chemicals to manufacture things. So there's a good chance that there's lead, asbestos, arsenic in some of these materials, especially paint. Now this was made with, um, you know, it's mostly this stuff, so it wasn't painted. There's not a lot of paint here. But that doesn't mean that, like, you know... It, and the wood is treated. That's another thing. It's treated wood. I think they use uh, arsenic. Um, I can't remember the chemical. It's a poison to treat wood. Uh, and that's why it lasts forever. Um, so this is probably treated wood. The point is, is that as you're scraping and sanding and stuff, there's going to be dust particles with these chemicals in the air. So that's why you want a good mask right and if you're really you know this is like low level security so if you really want more you can get one of those masks that have like you know two things on each side where you look like a serious um, mask with the filters but this should be good enough for now um, yeah this is just like a buck at the hardware store so so yeah so I guess I'm gonna remove some fixtures so I would say first step one, tape down any areas you don't want to get dirty. Step two, uh, remove fixtures like this, like this, like lights and stuff like that. Um, remove all that stuff. And step three is, you know, fill holes, like putty, little holes, you know, that are, you know, you get some plaster and some wood putty and plaster holes. Like remove all this freaking tape here. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to fix all these windows, man. 
you know, fix these holes here, like that and that, remove this, fix that hole, um, these kind of things, right? And yeah, so, and then the next step is to actually paint. And the first thing you do is you use what's called a primer. Um, so you paint with two coats. The primer kind of like, you know, seals the surface. It's a little stronger paint. It's not usually a good color. And then basically, um, so you, you cover everything with primer first, the primer coat. Um, and then you put on your final coat, which is gonna have the color you want, right? And yeah, I think you should get a really good effect, okay? So we're definitely gonna need primer in this case because we need something, like I'm, I wanna paint this thing white, so we need to basically cover this with a good, like white primer because otherwise it's gonna take like two coats of paint to cover this brown wood anyway um, but yeah and paint will have a hard time sticking to this surface because it's so smooth but the primer will will stick and it'll help the, the, the final coat stick to the primer so that's uh, the primer solves that problem but basically you know you want to get rid of all this little crap here all this stuff you know I think this place could be pretty cool and then we want to scrape away all this stuff so let's get started with the scraping the other thing is I don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece of plywood here honestly I mean I don't want to just throw it out because a good piece of plywood is like $25 or more so I think what I'm gonna do this came with the RV I guess they were planning to do something with it but I think what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna cut it in into parts <laughs> And I don't know where I'm gonna cut it. You know, if the RV was running, I could just go up to the hardware store and have them cut it for me, um, which I might do. But it's in the way right now is the problem, and there's nowhere to put it, you know? Maybe it would fit up there. Maybe, I don't know. I need a measuring tape. Okay, let's get to scraping. I just remembered, another thing you might need is uh, goggles. You know, it just depends. I mean, it's good to have goggles in case you're you're scraping and you don't want some splinter to go into your eye, right? So, but I didn't get goggles today, so whatever. So let's get to work. So let's see. Uh, first thing is I want this mirror off. 